Hello viewers, very good morning. This is your R. Mar sir. I welcome you today's session, part three, seventh class topic in food components, sub topic testing of carbohydrates by lab activity. Testing of carbohydrates by using simple lab activity. Generally, children are very curious and interesting to learn about the subject in easy way and a play way method. As a part of that, I wanted to prepare for our children in order to demonstrate well how the different food components are presented in our day to day different varieties of foods. That is, your mother is prepared at your home. And in previous sessions, already we have discussed about the classification of different food contents presented in the food items. Any variety that we can opt in that it can be segregated into different components. What are they once again recollected? Carbohydrates, fats, proteins, minerals, vitamins and water. Apart from that, as a part of that, today we are going to find how to test in our food, what we are going to take in our food, uh, carbohydrates which are presented. How can we identify by using a simple lab activity? Now I welcome you, let us introduce the requirement of the apparatus. So first of all, I would like to tell all of you, whatever the project that you can perform, first of all, arrange the things properly before going to do the activity. So let us come directly how to do this activity in the laboratory and what are the requirements. Let us see all of you observe here. Testing of carbohydrates by lab activity. So what we require apparatus. What are the required apparatus? We require a test tube, test tube holder to hold, iodine solution for testing and uh, for taking purpose dropper. And materials required that is optional for you whichever available in the under you which are easily available like your uh, daily preparation of your food or any uh, vegetable or anything we can select and we can easily test it today apart from that i would like to introduce how to test uh, uh, fats also so for fats what we require one oil paper preparation from that we can try to understand to present the, the food component of fats now let us start the our lab activity first of all for that we have to take in one beaker in that beaker add one or two tablespoons of rice flour or atta, anything which is available and uh, mix it properly by slowly adding water to prepare the starch solution. Already you know very well previous sessions we discussed about it. In starch solution, it is a rich content of carbohydrates which are presented. So, uniformly mixed properly by using with the help of this sterile like structure as a spatula and keep it aside. Now, take one test tube. Take one test tube. You select any one of the test tube which is going to be appear transparent and neatly. Let us see. And take the help of dropper. Take a few ml of solution which is prepared just now the starch solution take a little drop solution and uh, one by one drop wise put into the test tube and again take a star solution and slowly introduce into the test tube in this way how much you want you can take it to the test tube for doing this this is a test tube holder in the help of that, we can firmly, tightly 
fold it that is why it is called test tube folder now let us take the dropper with the help of this dropper one or two drops of iodine solution have to take this is the iodine solution one or two drops a few ml of iodine solution I have taken observe children what is the color appearance see the color appearance brown in color approximately transparently we can see domination color now slowly slowly shake well the test tube why because under this precipitate is formed the precipitate may not be uniformly mixed into the water freely that's why we can shake well before doing this experiment or with the help of one uh, glass rod we can uniformly mix properly this is a very important precaution before going to this uh, do this experiment now one or two drops of iodine solution by using dropper i have introduced inside the test tube find out my dear children what is the color appearance see slowly it turns dark bluish in color see when we are shake well it can be uniformly mixed well and turns into bluish in color or appearance in the form of black color this indicated it has a rich content of carbohydrate previously in the previous sessions we explained about uh, how it is going to find out from the food uh, different food like uh, uh, those uh, or any rice uh, we are explaining in the classroom now we are going to do the same activity uh, by using the laboratory experiment so all of you observe it what is the color finally what you observe dark bluish in color this indicated the starch content starch how you collect it either a rice flour freely available or any atta which is going to make into the form of chapati or puri or anything that we can take it and prepare the solution and uh, slowly we can introduce it to the test tube and by the help of iodine solution drop wise one or two drop wise we are going to add it it turns to change its color from white color into dark bluish color this indicated very clearly the food material or the material that we are selected having containing a carbohydrates i think most of the children are clarified and second part apart from that how do you test uh, the fats content presented uh, in the food so for that i wanted to present you a small simple demonstration very easily we can do it in a funny way let us see for that we require a white paper white paper we require in that uh, i am writing the facts facts i am writing here this letters after writing i am taking a groundnut seed i am taking a groundnut seed crush it and uh, back side of the back side of the written paper i have kept on the table and uh, i applied and slowly rub it fastly gently on back side of that we we'll let us see identify very clearly how it appears let us see see slowly after after rubbing several rubbings we can identify a transparent a transparent appearance see see letters are slowly appear letters are slowly appear see that means the transparent appearance will indicate the food material which is selected the ground net containing fats very clear so for that another simple activity also let us try to present for that we require a white paper apply i see i am taking 
oil and uh, drop wise are kept on the paper drop wise are kept on the paper see back side you see when you put it uh, back side we can appearance a shadow see children my finger can be appeared so for the practical demonstration purpose i am uh, explain you like this only i prepared uh, a oil paper for you see let us try to see the transparency simple my pen i have taken and kept it back side of the paper again is the light rays you can see my pen partially that means it is nothing but translucent appearance that means paper is a not a transparent when you apply oil it is appearance transparency that means it is a partially light rays are allowed so translucent means already in previous class sixth class already know very well the light rays which are allowing partially through the material then that material is said to be translucent material or translucent substance any substance which allows light rays partially is said to be translucent substance so the oil paper appearance is translucent that means partially appearance in this way we can recognize it has the oil will consisting facts similarly we can take any type of materials and with the help of that we can uh, uh, classify the food components the like carbohydrates by using the laboratory activity or as well as oil paper the fats so by using uh, these two i hope all are enjoying my video and understand by taking any food varieties which we can get it the fats identification and carbohydrates identification understand children well done not only that you can try such as even biscuits that you provided a like good biscuits or any uh, uh, chips packets let us say chips it can take it potato chips let us take even by taking a vada that you prepared by your mother that also rub it try to rub it on the surface of the paper and uh, see the transparency that we can indicate it, it contains fats so my dear children you i think so all are very interesting observed and uh, understand well the carbohydrates and fats presented in the uh, materials which were prepared by your mother and uh, what we are going to take in daily so that is why you must uh, observe which material is having carbohydrates which material which food made item is having a uh, fats which is containing protein sir uh, by using the simple activity so we require all these things for getting balanced diet we require to build our uh, body and we have to do our uh, uh, activities or we can live happily and energetic way we require carbohydrates and uh, fats that is why we simply uh, need to try to explain how to recognize how to uh, going to uh, absorb the fats and uh, carbohydrates presented in the food materials or food items okay thank you for watching my video i am signing you karamar sir till keep on watching my videos i will try to explain you in a easy way in a playful method uh, in a easy understanding okay thank you very much children bye